Okay, welcome to my video blog guys. Um, I'm Ollie. So I'm filming today outside the Cathedral of Salamanca. Here you've got the cathedral and right next to it you've got the kind of the, the Roman bridge. Um, so what am I filming today? I'm just basically going to explain what why it is that I'm doing this video blog. So the the intention is, well, first I'll explain the name. So the name, I can't take any credit for the name because I I, I asked a girl while I was travelling what I should call my blog and she gave me this suggestion. She was a journalist, um, so no credit all goes to me, but I do like the name. So Fit Brit Abroad, the idea is um, fit from the fitness. I'm a personal trainer. Um, I'm 22 now. I started working. I did a, an apprenticeship in a gym when I was uh, about 17, so like five, six years ago. Um, and I was working in England in a gym for around three years before I went away. Um, so the idea is with this blog I'm going to do kind of uh, fitness um, facts, kind of things that can help people uh, with their fitness, especially while they're traveling. Um, so that's kind of the fitness side of it. And then you've got the Brit, obviously I'm British, I'm English, um, as you can probably tell from my accent. Um, and yeah, that, that kind of ties into the, the language learning as well, because British, I'm, I'm learning Spanish at the moment, I really like the idea of learning languages. Um, in fact, that was kind of the reason why I started this journey, was with the intention of learning Spanish, which is going pretty well. So um, yeah, and then abroad, um, Fit Brit abroad, because I love traveling, like I really enjoy traveling, and hopefully the idea is with this video, if there's anyone watching it, who, I don't know, maybe is feeling anxious about traveling, who wants to travel but doesn't but doesn't know if they can, I mean, just do it. It's an amazing experience. Um, you get to meet people on the along the way, especially if you learn the language, even better, because you, you get to re meet real people from, from the country, from where they're from, um, you get to experience their culture. There's, um, there's a line, oh, I don't want to quote Nelson Mandela, not, um, not Liam Nelson, um, but Nelson Mandela, uh, I watched a TED talk and there was a quote in it from Nelson Mandela about um, if you speak to a man in a language that he understands, you speak to his head, but if you speak to a man in his own language, you speak to his heart, and that really like uh, made an impression on me. Um, so yeah, uh, basically what I want to do with this video blog is um, tell people a little bit about my story. Uh, I've been traveling Spain and uh, living in Spain for the last 10, 10 11 months now. Um, I started in the summer of 2015, traveling around all the parts of Spain to decide which place I liked the most. Um, so I went in the south, Andalusia, all over Andalusia, all over um, Sevilla, Granada, Cordoba, uh, Malaga, Marbella all of these places, all really beautiful. And the thing I noticed the most about, well, especially being in the south, is just the architecture. It's, it's amazing, it's really beautiful. Um, and you get the influence from from kind of the Moorish architecture, the, the Muslim architecture. Um, and so you have this real like crossover of kind of like, uh, I, I guess like the Christian Gothic architecture with the uh, with the kind of more Muslim Arabic architecture. Um, I mean, by means, I, by all means, I'm no expert, so don't quote me on any of this. Uh, I can only really talk from my own experience, but what I saw, I liked. Um, and then I kind of, uh, so I started off, my friend was moving to Spain, moving to Marbella, um, and he took us both in car from, we got the ferry from England, and we went from north to south, Bilbao, to all the way through the, to the south of Spain, to Marbella. Um, we did it in one go, and he drove for nine hours, which was, which was pretty much pretty impressive. I've got, I've got to admit. Um, yeah, and then so, yeah, I spent the summer kind of traveling around Spain, uh, as well as going to the south. I went to the center, kind of Madrid, um, Toledo. Toledo is right next to Madrid. It's really beautiful. It's like a, um, it's essentially like a castle. It, it, you go there and it's like walking back like to the Middle Ages, like really like really impressive. Um, so if you get the chance, go to there. Um, and then yeah, Madrid, Toledo. I went to um, Salamanca, where I am now for two nights, um, and I really love the place. It's the home or the heart of Spanish because it's in Castilion, um, which is where Castellano comes from, uh, Spanish, and the Spanish language. And so I decided to come back to to Spain to uh, sorry not to Spain I decided to come back to Salamanca um, because I really liked it and I'd been here for six months before that I was in Valencia I did a language course in Valencia which was which was really good um, 
and yeah like it's going pretty well like I'm enjoying learning the language next next week I'm going on a trip viaje to uh, well the idea is that we're gonna end up in Holland you can see kind of my bike behind me um, <clears throat> so the idea is I'm gonna keep filming these along the way and keep you updated with my story uh, so yeah that's that's it for for now I don't know if there's anything else I wanted to say um, really the the big thing was kind of so what I want to do is the, with this blog um, I want to demonstrate that really we have we have the possibility and we have the power to to change things in our lives like if you if you want to do something that you can do it if you want to learn a language if you want to get in shape uh, whatever it is if you want to learn how to dance salsa I'm, I'm, I'm learning how to dance salsa at the moment and uh, yeah it's it's all right it's all right I've, I haven't danced for two weeks so um, but today I'm gonna go to class uh, but if you want to do anything in your life you you have the ability to change it um, I'm also I'm also quite interested in kind of uh, meditation and mindfulness and this whole idea of like holistic holistic fit fitness so the idea is that you know going going to the gym uh, working out or whatever it is isn't just about you know being looking good like aesthetically if not more so that you feel good inside so if you feel good inside your you're, you're going to be more inclined to want to go back to the gym. You'll actually, you'll actually be doing it not for external motivation. You're not doing it because of how other people perceive you, but if not how how you perceive yourself and how, like when I go to the gym, or when I work out, when I exercise, I do it because, or I have the intention of doing it because it makes me feel good. So when when I leave the gym, I feel like excellent. I feel on top of the world. I feel like I can I can get on with my day. Um, the big thing that uh, impression made an impression on me about being in Spain is that they don't work out so much in gyms. Really, uh, the thing in Spain is people work outside a lot more, which which doesn't really happen doesn't really happen in England. Um, and I guess it's because mainly because of the weather. I mean, look like. Even though it's cloudy and, and Salamanca is not the, the hottest of places in Spain because it's, it's in the north, um, but you know people work, will work out outside, um, and I think that doesn't really happen so much in England. I mean, I'm sure there's there's people who do do it, um, but probably because of the rain, um, we don't really have so much of that culture of being outdoors. Uh, so yeah, and what else did I want to say? I wanted to say something else. Um, yeah, just about the travelling. I mean, hopefully. The idea with this is uh, I want to see how different people um, so I want to see how different people train in different places in different countries throughout the world um, different cultures how maybe like I mean I'm gonna be going cycling which I have never really done before um, I've like I you can ask any of my friends I barely know how to ride a bike um, but I bought one and I'm cycling at the moment so that's what counts and I'm sure I'll learn along the way um, but yeah, so uh, so the idea being that yeah, how people train in different countries, how maybe if you go if you go to Thailand for example, like I would hope to do, one day I would really like to go to Thailand and train, go out there and train um, like Muay Thai, kickboxing, um, go to Cuba, go to um, Mexico and train boxing, see how it is that I don't know how how different places have these different styles. Maybe go to Russia and do gymnastics, you know, uh, or India and learn and learn. Um, uh, oh, my camera's changed around. There we go. That's better. Uh, go to India and learn how to do yoga. Um, you know, why not? So yeah, that's where I'm at at the moment. I hope you enjoy this video. Fitbro abroad. Give me a like um, or two if you like. Oh, but one more thing that I was going to mention. Um, so with the language learning, what really helped me with the Spanish, um, there is a blog blog post that's called Lightspeed Spanish. Um, it was really useful for me at the start. So it's a guy and his wife, and he's called Gordon. Gordon. He's called Gordon. Um, uh, Gordon, he says in one of the videos, Gordon in Spanish is like, uh, Gordo is like fat, and Gordon would be like really big, like really fat. So um, I think he had to change his name. He mentioned in, in one of the in one of the posts. Um, but basically, it's a it's a blog, um, and they give you free audio. They give you free podcasts to learn Spanish all the way through from complete beginner to kind of advanced speaker. 
Um, so really helpful. Um, I'll put the link below so you have it. And that's kind of it for me today. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy the sun.